Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Django. In the last video we have seen how do you set up Django in your machine, uh, on Windows at least. And then now let's write a code. Because in the last video we have just created the project and then we were running a server, a lightweight server which Django provides. It was running so you can see this is the code which we have done. We entered this command which is python manage.py which is your management file and run server which will run the server. And then you just have to use any browser which you like. I'm using Chrome here and you just have to enter the IP address. Now this is the IP address which is basically localhost and the port number is 8000. And we are able to run the server and then we, we got the output as well. But then we don't want this. We want something extra, right? We want to build a web application. That's what we do, right? So when you say you are using Django, it means you want to build a web application. Okay, now there are two types of web applications we can talk about. We have static pages and then we have dynamic pages. Now, all the websites which we use nowadays, some of the pages which you visit are static pages, which means everyone will see the same page. Dynamic pages are different for everyone. Example, if I go to Facebook, in fact, we have talked about this example. So if I go to Facebook, I will see my own feeds. I will see my friend's feed. You will not see my friend's feed, right? That's, you will get your own feeds there. So if I go to my bank account, I will see my own bank balance, not your bank balance. So basically we have a dynamic content there. Now, when you say you want to build static content, we can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, done. But the moment you say you want to make it dynamic, you want to do some processing, that's what we are doing here. So let's make a simple web application. Okay, when I say simple, we are going for the basic. You know what we do when you learn how to get a web page? You write hello world, right? That's what we'll do now. I know you are expecting something big, but the thing is here we want to learn Django. We don't want to learn the complex programming as at this point. We know Python, so we can write big applications, but now we have to understand the framework. So let's build something we're using which you can print hello world on the page. Yes, you can do that in HTML as well, but let's make, let's make it dynamic here. Okay, so for that, what you do is you have to use some sort of IDE. Now, basically, when you say IDE, we can also use a notepad to type the code. Okay, that's completely fine. Uh, you can use Sublime because that's a lot of people use. Here, we are going to use Visual Studio. You can download Visual Studio by going to Google. So when you search for Visual Studio download, this is what you will get. Just go to their website and you can download. Uh, in fact, every new version, they are providing amazing features. Uh, so just try it out, one of the best ID available for programmers now. But again, the community version is free. If you want to go for professional version, uh, you have to pay for it. But at least at this point, we are happy to work with the free version. It works well. So just have to download that and you have to install simple steps. Now in this machine, I already have Visual Studio. So let me just open that. So you can see we have Visual Studio here. This is how it looks like, dark theme. Uh, you can also go for a light theme. It's also available here. Depend upon some programmers normally prefer black or dark theme. YouTubers or the content creators, they prefer white theme because the recording works well. Okay, so now once you have your pro once you have Visual Studio, we have to open the project. Now, if you remember in the last video, we have done that. We have created the project Telisco. So let's open that folder. So just have to go to the folder projects. Remember, we have created this folder projects, and inside this project, we have a Telisco project which we have created using command line, of course. Select that Telisco and click on open. This is what you will get. So you will get your project here, which is Telisco, and in inside this, you can see we have a lot of files. In fact, we have talked about them before. But just to go for a quick recap, we have this manage.py which is useful to manage your project and then if you want to do some settings in your project this is very important the settings.py file so if you explore this file you can see we have a secret key which is basically used for deployment in the server and then we have a debug so you know debug will give you a lot of information when you get stuck somewhere and this is very important actually so let's say if you are building a project and if you want to know what is happening behind the scene just make debug equal to two and it will give you all the information but make sure before deploying on the server just make it false because some someone can hack your machine and they can see the all the logs okay and then this is important this is the installed app so in your project these are the apps which are already installed again we'll talk about it later we can have our own apps. So these are the middlewares which will help you for security purpose as well. Uh, we have a template. So you can see this, the Django template will help you to provide template stuff. What about database? Of course, right, if you are making a web application, you also want some database in behind the scene, maybe MySQL, maybe Postgres or SQLite. So by default, it gives you SQLite, but you can also use Postgres there. And then we have some password stuff here for validation. So let's not focus on this file as of now because we don't actually edit this file very frequently. So let's keep it there. 
but this is very important file okay and then we have urls so you can see we only have we might be having only one url here which is for admin for admin stuff so that's it as of now let's create our first app but hold on you might be thinking we got a project right why we have to get a separate app the thing is in django what we do is we have a project like let's say if i want to make a big web application which will have a lot of features you know the admin stuff we'll be having some let's say e-commerce website we can have product as a module uh, we can have shipping as a module so we can have a different set those are different apps and all these apps in the website will be provided in one particular project which is your website in general so login stuff will be one app then showing the products will be one app that's how so let's create a simple project here so the way you do that is by going to our terminal so you can see this is our terminal and this is where you can type so how do we create an app and what you will name it so as of now i just want to name it as calc because i love hello world and then the next example will be calc so let's create a calc app to do that we have to type a command so you have to say python manage.py that's the file we are using and then you have to mention the name of your app so as of now we'll go for calc the moment you say enter we got an error the problem is now we are using a different command prompt right i was not expecting this but then we, we are using a different command prompt right initially we were using the windows command prompt now we are using it through visual studio and then if you remember we have to also set the virtual environment so the virtual environment we were using here is test so we have to use that so i will close this and we'll use test so how do you use our environment so you have to say work on test so now we are in test now we have to fire the command so we have to say python manage.py oh we have we have forgot one more thing so you have to say start app that's what you, so you have to say start app and you have to mention calc the moment you say enter now you can see on the left hand side we got a calc this is basically your app so this is your project that is called and this is your app now if you can see we have some different files there we have a settings here but we don't have settings here because this settings is for the project and every app will have its own stuff example let's say if you if you talk about the app we have some admin stuff here uh, we'll not be doing that as of now, but we have admin stuff. We have apps uh, This name is important. Just look at this name. We are getting a class named as Cal config We are using we are going to use it Then we have models now if you talk about Django if you want to build a web application Of course you want to work with database, right? And in Django, we have this awesome concept named as ORM. So we'll talk about that later, but then this model will be used for that. Used for that. Or basically it is used to hold data. And then we have tests. So if you want to do some test cases, if you want to test your application, uh, this is how we can do it. And then we have views. Remember when we send a request, we have talked about MVT where views will handle your request. So then you, you can do that here. Okay, but we want to build hello world, right? So how will you do that? That will see in the next video. So in this video, we have talked about how to create an app in the project in Visual Studio, of course. That's what we are using here. And then we have seen the files. In the next video, we'll run this, run this code. So in the home page, so example, if I go to home page and if I refresh, I should be getting something like hello world, something like that. This is not working now, but we'll make it work. We want hello world here at the home page. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.